Hey guys, just a quick little disclaimer. Um, I had used the live commentary feature on the Elgato during this uh, recording, and for some reason, it makes my it makes my voice sound like I have like a speech impediment, like a lisp, and it it's really annoying. But I really don't want to re-record all of my uh, dialogue all over again, so I'm very sorry for that. You won't catch it at first, but eventually you'll start hearing it. And yes, I, I understand it. it it gets a little annoying, and I really don't like it, because I know I don't have a speech impediment, <laughs> at least not to my knowledge. But yeah, anyways, sorry about that, guys, but yeah, I hope you guys can still enjoy the video. Thanks. Hello, everyone. This is GamePro24X, and right now I'm bringing you guys a live commentary, just to see how, uh, how it does compared to my usual way of recording. So, as I mentioned last video, uh, I was currently doing a dispatch mission where you can get 20 S plus S rank soldiers. So we're going to see if uh, it was really worth it and if it's something that you guys should invest to, uh, invest some time into. But right now, uh, let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and just uh, figure out how valuable S rank or S plus ranks are. So right now. If I was to grab uh, my lowest rank, my lowest S rank soldier, let's see how much uh, they remove. When it, let's see how much it takes away from the group or from the team when I remove her. Now, if you look right beside the R and D symbol on the bars, you will see a little bar that will slowly increase and decrease. And I'll go ahead and highlight highlight it for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So my lowest S rank does take away a nice little chunk. All right, so that's that's the power of my lowest tier S rank person in that unit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, find my highest level S rank guy and see how much they take away compared to the uh, lower unit. level. Okay, it's a slightly bigger chunk, but yeah, you can notice that uh, it it's about a little bit less than a quarter. Yeah, I would say a little bit less than a quarter. Alright, so let's see. How much will my lowest rank S plus guy take away? Wow, look at that. Like, that like that takes away a nice big chunk. So if I was to, uh, I don't know, grab maybe three of these guys. Let's see. So if I was theoretically moving them out of my R&D unit, yeah, that does take away a nice big chunk of uh, level. Out of my entire unit so at the end of the mission at the end of the dispatch mission it says that we're gonna get 20 of these guys 20 of these S plus soldiers so um, I'm pretty sure at my level like I'm at a pretty high level and I'm pretty sure over 20 of them is gonna be a guaranteed level up and such but also because it's a dispatch sorry also because it's a dispatch mission there's also some consequences, and it, and sometimes soldiers can come back dead or injured. Alright, so, without further ado, let's take a look at what happened. Alright, so here's the, st the statistics of what had go went down. Um, I guess apparently I had an A++ member there, so he's obviously dead. So I lost 16 S rank combat unit, and 15 uh, R&D unit. That's actually not bad because considering the fact that I had to throw in 80 of these guys and 50 of these guys, half, um, 15 of them died, 15 R&D died and 16 combat died. Now on the injured side, uh, 17 were injured uh, and 16 were, inj were injured on R&D. So that's not bad. Like literally 30 guys were hurt. Or, or dead. So out of the 80, actually, yeah, yeah, so out of the 80 that I sent on S rank or on the combat unit, like 30 of them came back injured or dead. And vice versa for the uh, R&D unit, which is great. And as a reward, we got 20 S plus soldiers. So that's great. So let me go ahead and uh, grab these guys. Now I almost forgot to mention that 
I think the kind of the dumb thing about the auto recruiting and the auto disbanding uh, feature in this game is a little wonky. And what I mean by that is, uh, let me go ahead and go, let me see if I can find someone with a good example. Uh, oh, was that one? Oh, there we go. Okay, so look at this guy. He's good. He's S rank in R and D, S rank in uh, support. He, he's basically S rank on everything else, right? Um, the kind of dumb thing about this is, uh. All of my combat unit is nothing but S ranks, right? But all of my uh, security team is nothing but A++ on combat. The stupid thing about the uh, the auto like dispatch or not dispatch the auto uh, dismissing uh, feature is that, for example, say I had a full 200 people in my combat unit that were S ranks, and I went into a mission and I got myself some extra S rank combat unit guys. What it's going to do is it's going to look for the lowest level S ranks and switch them out with the higher S ranks that I found or it will kick off the lower level S ranks that I found, etc, etc. But the stupid thing is, is that it will never, ever, ever move any of the S ranks into security team. And it pisses me off because I'm losing a lot of potential here because the game keeps on booting people that yes, even though they didn't fit the bill for R&D or, or base development, they still were also S ranks in combat and I kind of want them in my security team. So that's the kind of bullshit thing about um, grinding for S rank people is that if you have S ranks in your own unit and they're also S ranks in another unit, for example combat, before you even leave the mission, you have to go in there, nitpick all of those guys, and move them over here yourself. And it's really fucking stupid, and I hate it. But yes, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, grab our 20 S place S rank guys, or S plus rank guys. Oh wow! I went up from a 78 to 82. Holy shit! <laughs> Yeah, and these are all the S plus dudes. Holy shit. Yeah, if you guys were watching earlier, like, I was level 78, and that b bumped me up to 82. That's four whole fucking levels. That's crazy. Just go ahead and quickly skim over these guys. I just want to take a look at um, their individual stats afterwards. Oh, okay. Even though I was already disconnected, you have the audacity to tell me that I'm disconnected. Fuck you. Um, holy shit. Yeah, these guys were a lot fucking stronger than the S plus dudes that I already had. Holy shit. <laughs> That's actually pretty damn cool. And plus, whenever when they get more morale, their um, stats are gonna get an even more boost, uh, even bigger boost. Now, I would say, um, if you want to get this guy, for example, his uh, medals and whatnot, I don't really think it would be that worth it, like, because I have a feeling that to get S plus plus, you have to be like full, like you gotta be like at that guy's bar to be S plus plus. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, sure, I'll give it a try with this dude, just to see if, if it's enough to bump me to S++, but if it isn't, then I would say don't really worry about it, because you got other shit to do. But yeah, holy crap, like, 78 to 82, that's a, that's a clear 4 level increase. And I understand, you know, I lost a lot of, uh, of, uh, combat unit, and they're all recovering right now in the, uh, in the sick bay, etc, etc. But when they come back, I'll have to at least find 15 more S S rank combat unit guys to replace them, which is not bad. Because if you just go to go the, go to Code Talker like I do, you can easily find those guys to replace them. And and same thing for R and D unit, you can easily replace them. But one last thing I want to show you guys before I end this video. Oops, wrong one. 
is Please select a mission. Now that I already completed that S plus uh, mission, that mission kind of isn't there anymore. I mean, there's this one, but you're only going to get two out of it, and it does take a lot less time to complete. But I would say don't even worry about that one. Uh, what I believe um, is happening is it's kind of like a safety net, like a safety like way for people to like not use it as much. So what I'm saying is uh, when you get those missions again, you can pick one, and of course you gotta wait a whole week for it to complete. And when you're done, it's gonna go through a different list because I can tell you for certain that these four, I have never seen these four before either. But I have a very strong feeling that if I complete these uh, four right here, or at least some of them, some of them inside this entire list, if I complete some of them in this list, which is what I'm gonna, which is what I'm gonna do, with. Uh, which is the very Unit short dispatched. ones that don't take a lot of time to complete. Unit dispatched. Let's see, anything else that's uh Yeah, see everything else takes like days. This one takes a, oh yeah, I'll do this one. That's gonna get me a lot. That's Unit gonna take dispatched. less than a day. And I have enough for one more deployment. And uh I would say I need common metal in it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so... Again, when these are done, I'm gonna assume that the list is gonna refresh and it's gonna give you a whole new list. Unless the list changes per day. And, like for example, these four right here, they were here today. Everything else has been here like every single day. But these four, however, I have a feeling that they're here today. And if I was to come back tomorrow, it's gonna be something different but again I don't know and when I do figure it out I will leave an annotation in the video letting you guys know what's up but yeah for now um, yes it is very worth it to do that S++ or S++ that 20 S++ uh, dispatch mission because you're gonna gain a lot of new guys that are gonna bump up your level by a lot and you can easily go back and replace just the small few of uh, S ranks that you had lost from that mission. So yes, I would say definitely do it. Like it's got my stamp of approval. Like you guys should definitely go try it out. And uh, you know, yes, I understand it. It's gonna you're gonna be waiting for a week, but hey, at least you got to do other stuff in the meantime. Or it's just some other interesting things that you can have going on on the side while you're not really playing Metal Gear Solid Five. So. Yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you guys really enjoy uh, me finding out all this stuff for you, and letting you know what's up, and uh, I'll continue to keep making more videos for you guys, and, th and I thank you all for the support that I receive daily from uh, the videos that I, put, that I always put out, so I, I thank you guys for that, and... Uh, technically right now it's Thanksgiving so you know again that's something that I'm thankful for and uh, yeah you guys have a good Thanksgiving uh, I'm gonna go stuff my face uh, in a few hours but yeah this is GamePro24X and I hope this was very helpful and I'll see you